Harvey Weinstein is back in the news. According to The Hollywood Reporter, a New York appeals court overturned Harvey Weinstein's rape conviction. Yay! How fun! <laughs> These motherfuckers overturned one of the rapiest, rapiest, rapiers, peoples. <laughs> They overturned his conviction. The court ruled that the judge in the New York County trial prejudiced Weinstein with improper rulings, including allowing women to testify about allegations that were not a part of the case. So basically, in a four to three ruling, they decided that the previous judge had allowed testimony into the case from women who had accused Harvey Weinstein of doing messy shit to them as well. But those were cases that hadn't been charged, they hadn't been investigated. So, you know, I guess what would fall under like, not, not hearsay, but it's not, it's not, nothing was corroborated. And this new court found that because they added those testimonies in, they prejudiced the jury. Because those incidences could not be corroborated. Even though they were admitted in order to establish an MO of the defendant. And it's so interesting because they deem that that was prejudicial, but these courts will allow character statements on behalf of the defendant. Character statements from people who have absolutely nothing to do with the case at hand, which is what they were griping about here, and have nothing to do with anything relevant. Character statements are so freaking pointless. I don't know how many times we have to explain that just because someone abuses somebody doesn't mean they're going to abuse everybody. It's, it's like, do y'all be thinking? Character statements are like, I know this guy. He was really, really nice to me when we worked together for six months. He didn't try to rape me. So how could he possibly try to rape anybody else? Let him go. That's character statements. And those are admissible in court. But other women who are saying, hey, this fool did the same shady shit to me, cannot be admissible, are considered prejudicial. Talk about, I mean, it's just so fucked up how this judicial system works. According to the case, quote, under our system of justice, the accused has a right to be held to account only for the crime charged, and thus allegations of prior bad acts may not be admitted against them for the sole purpose of establishing their propensity for criminality, nor may the prosecution use prior convictions or proof of the, of the prior commission of specific criminal, vicious, or immoral acts other than to impeach the accused's credibility wrote Judge Jenny Rivera in her ruling. Quote, she continued, it is our solemn duty to diligently guard these rights regardless of the crime charge, the reputation of the accused or the pressure to convict, end quote. What are you talking about, ho? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> that you cannot use prior bad acts, allegations of prior bad acts or prior convictions or proof of the prior commission of specific criminal, vicious, or immoral acts, you can't use that to impeach the accused's credibility. So you can't use that to say, this motherfucker's got a track record? But you can use other people saying, this motherfucker's got a track record of being a good guy? What are you talking about, Jenny Rivera? Judge Jenny, what? Just to recap, for those who forgot, in February of 2022, Weinstein was found guilty of criminal sexual assault in the first degree based on the testimony of former Project Runway pro production assistant Miriam Haley and rape in the third degree based on the testimony of one-time aspiring actress Jessica Mann. That one-time aspiring is, is hinting at she dropped out of the business after some bullshit like this happened to her. 
He was sentenced to 23 years in prison. Weinstein also went to trial in, L in Los Angeles where he was convicted in December 2022 of rape. That conviction means that Weinstein will remain in prison even if the New York trial gets established. So, thankfully, he'll still be in prison. He's not getting out because he still has, you know, his, his uh, conviction from Los Angeles. But that doesn't change the fact that if this goes into relitigation, now we're bringing these rape victims back again to testify again to being violated by this freaking creep. They have to sit in a stand in front of a bunch of strangers they don't fucking know and recount one of the most vicious, horrible, miserable, uh, vulnerable moments in their lives. Because some fucking judges, after the fact, decided, mm, you were prejudicial against the defendant because you, you had other women come out and say that he did some shady shit to them too. In a statement, the group of Weinstein accusers who call themselves the silence breakers, shout out to y'all, they said, quote, the news today is not only disheartening, but it's profoundly unjust. But this ruling does not diminish the validity of our experiences or our truth. It's merely a setback. The man found guilty continues to serve time in a California prison. When survivors everywhere broke their silence in 2017, the world changed. We continue to stand strong and advocate for that change. We will continue to fight for justice for survivors everywhere. End quote. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for doing your job. Thank you for standing up and speaking out because you don't have to. You really don't, and you shouldn't freaking have to. And you shouldn't have to do it over and over and over again. One of the judges, the three judges who dissented, wrote, quote, with today's decision, the court continues to thwart the steady gains survivors of sexual violence have fought for in our criminal justice system. Forgotten are the women who bear the psychological trauma of sexual violence and the scars of testifying again and again. This erosion of precedent, born from a refusal to accept that crimes of sexual violence are far more nuanced and complex than other crimes, comes at the expense and safety of women, end quote. And that's the point. These crimes can't be prosecuted like your everyday burglary. There is nuance to this. It is not the same as your everyday assault. There is nuance and complexity to, complexity to this that is completely simplified and oversimplified, which ends up putting women and children in vulnerable situations. The Hollywood Commission chair and president, Anita Hill, said in a statement, quote, today's decisions reinforces what we already know through our survey of over 13,000 entertainment workers. We have seen a lack of progress in addressing the power imbalances that allow abuse to occur and that sexual assault continues to be a pervasive problem. Many survivors do not pursue justice because they believe nothing will be done. Today's decision underscores the urgent need for systemic changes in our institutions, amen, and redoubles our commitment to survivors to push for the policies and systems that will ensure accountability and bring about workplaces free from the behavior that drives the need for these systems in the first place, end quote. Thank you, sis. She said it. We need to overhaul the judicial system. This is the reason why women don't report rape. Because when they do, their accusers get off. And that's a fact. According to Rain, R-A-I-N-N, Dot org. Look it up. According to rain.org, out of every 100 rapes, 